I know all of us see a fair amount of otitis externa as well as media in, in general practice. And I know for the first, oh, 15 years or so of practice, when an ear case would come in the door, you would sort of sigh a little bit, uh, kind of groan, how much are we going to really be able to help this patient? Because our hands were tied a lot of times as to what we could exactly do. Things have changed a lot. We do have a lot that we can do. So I don't know how many of you in practice have a videotoscopy unit. It has definitely revolutionized the way that I have practiced veterinary dermatology for otitis. It has allowed me to see things that I would have never seen before, and it truly does act as a teaching tool for the owners as well. So I would highly recommend a videotoscopy unit. And for us, it allows us to do some of the different therapeutics. So we can actually go in, clean everything out, infuse medication directly into the bulla, and even place a wick into that area. So what I wanted to do this evening is kind of go over some of the different ways that veterinary dermatologists are approaching otitis externa and media and sort of present that data to you for your practice as well.